What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwood, and I am back again today, bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team Wager game. And today, I am putting up my playoff Vernon Davis against Elite Andre Johnson. These cards both go for about 25,000 or so coins, sometimes up to 30,000, depending on the day and the time, but somewhere around that range anyway. So, wanted to bring you guys this game. It's a pretty close one. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And I'm playing against Beast Boy 325. He has a pretty decent team. Uh, nothing super spectacular, but he does have the 98 uh, Randall Cunningham. Thurman Thomas, 98 as well. Jerry Rice, 99. These are some pretty solid offensive players. Definitely some big-time playmakers on the offensive side of the football. And, uh, you know, like I said, his team's definitely better than mine overall. But, you know, this is the kind of game that I'm going to have to get myself into if I want to play wager games. And maybe that's going to have to mean that I'm going to upgrade my team over the next couple of weeks and months here before Madden 25 comes to an end. But either way, I think uh, for right now, I'm good with competing with the team that I have. At least I come close in this one. But of course, it would be nice to have a couple extra cards just to kind of put me over the edge and give me that competitive edge that I might need in these type of close games. So let's get into the gameplay footage here. Very first play of the game here, and he's going to take off up the middle with Randall Cunningham and get smoked by Tashawn Gibson, who gives him a hit stick. He held on to the football, though, and now he's going to get to grinding the football here with Thurman Thomas. And this is something that... Usually I do a very good job of stopping the run and as you see here I do get some nice stops here and there, but I wasn't able to completely shut down the run in this game Thurman Thomas does end up doing pretty decent against me in this one He didn't completely take over the game But runs like this here just effective running of the football made it so that I couldn't commit to the pass And I'm really used to doing that because I'm so used to shutting down the run that usually it's not an issue for me This game did not start off very well for me, but boom Rod Woodson says gotcha bitch on the first drive for my defense. He played safety for me in this one. It's the cornerback Rod Woodson, but I actually placed him at free safety. On offense now, it is QB Walter, and watch this. One broken tackle, two, three, four, five broken tackles, and he's finally taken down after a huge gain. Quarterback Walter Payton is just ridiculously overpowered, if you didn't already know, and he dumps it underneath now to Chris Johnson, who breaks a tackle, but jukes backwards. Doesn't get the first down because of that backwards juke. That was a dumb decision. Third and inches, the read option is stopped, and we are forced to take a field goal here on the first drive on offense. Missed opportunity there, but at least we get some points on the board. And now watch this. Thurman Thomas is going to continue to punish me here with the run. And then, like I said, this is just not something that I'm used to having happen against me. And he is just going off the edge every time. Big gains almost every time he touches the football. But this time we stop him. And we skip forward now to third and 13. He's going to go with a wide receiver screen here off the right side. But he doesn't quite pick it up. Charles Woodson gets the tackle. It's now fourth and five and he's going to go for it. It's kind of in no man's land. And he is able to pick up the first down with a nice comeback route there. First and 10. And he's going to try and go off the right side. I saw it coming though. I actually run committed to the right there. Dangerous decision. But it completely worked out for me. And on second down, he's going to bomb it into coverage. To Sean Gibson gets it. That was a user pick all the way. And we are back on offense after two interceptions forced. Back-to-back -back drives. Now QB Walter goes off the right side to pick up about eight on first down. Now about 27 seconds left here in the first half. And I'm going to look down the field to Donald Penn who drops it. He was open. He had his hands on it. He's got 90 catch. I know that sounds crazy, but normally he makes that catch. That's okay, though, because we do get the ball to Chris Johnson, who breaks a tackle, steps out of bounds. 13 seconds left now. We're going to look down the field, but, oh, that was a bad, bad throw. Troy Polamalu undercuts it, gets the interception, and he is going to step out of bounds at about the 30-yard line, and he is just going to take his field goal to tie this game up, and I am a little bit frustrated. Two missed opportunities. I forced two interceptions, and I only get three points out of it. But I'm determined to score on this drive. It's third and nine. We go underneath to Chris Johnson on the angle route. He picks up the first down. Does take a hit stick there, but holds on to the football. And watch this. He's going to take a nice draw up the middle here for a big gain, getting another first down. And it was three rushes for just 15 yards for me at this point in the game. And I take a sack here on second and 11, making it third and 18 now. This is a long third down. I throw it into coverage, and I have no idea how he didn't intercept that. That was absolutely ridiculous. But we take advantage of it on the next play. 
QB Walter with the spin move takes it up the middle for the touchdown and we go up 10 to 3 but on the very next play on offense my opponent is going to answer he tosses it to the left and Thurman Thomas is off to the races I am not going to be able to catch him he jukes me out here at the end and he ties this game back up again at 10 now we're back on offense here and I am still struggling to run the football against this guy I am having a really tough time normally it's it's no problem at all Thankfully, my passing game is at least somewhat working. I'm, I'm making some dangerous throws, but it's working out for me. Chris Johnson holds on to this one. Another nice catch. And if you look up at the clock, it is 2.44 left here in the fourth quarter. And he stops me. Third and one. And we hand it off to Chris Johnson. He jukes him out and gets the first down. A huge first down there to run out some clock, if nothing else. Make sure my opponent doesn't get the ball back. But I am not going to give up that easily. I'm trying to score here. Chris Johnson gets another reception over the middle and gets a big gain on this one. 48 seconds left. We are at the 34-yard line. And Reggie Bush is going to take the ball off the left, relieving Chris Johnson, who was a little bit tired on the drive. And he is going to score on his first touch of the football in this game putting us up 17 to 10. My opponent gets the ball back, but there is only 20 seconds left here on the clock. We just have to keep him out of the end zone. Fourth and two here, and watch this. Randall Cunningham is gonna take off and pick up a first down, steps out of bounds, and he's got nine seconds left here. Look at this Hail Mary. Deep down the field to Kellen Winslow in double coverage, and he comes up with it. My goodness, down at the 18 yard line, and there's one play left. He's got two seconds. I am just hands around the neck right now choking. I cannot allow him to score. Absolutely not. He completes a pass. Oh, and Pat Pete makes the tackle. Oh my goodness. He makes a tackle at about the four yard line and we hold on just barely to walk away with a win in this one. I do take Andre Johnson, hold on to Vernon Davis and I'll take my card. That's about a 25,000 coin profit. I'm happy I won this one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe if you can. That's how I grow my channel. Subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.